What are the Codex of Power and Legendary Aspects? One of the more recently revealed features of Diablo 4 is the Codex of Power. This feature is a way for players to beef up their builds via the legendary powers which are contained within the Codex and found on existing legendary items. Think of legendary aspects as extracted legendary powers contained in the Codex of Power and as a stopgap to finding truly powerful legendary items in the game world. The legendary aspects inside the Codex can be obtained by completing dungeons, but although aspects within the Codex are useful, it's important to note that aspects inside the Codex, when imprinted on an item, will always have the lowest roll value possible for that particular aspect. This is why aspects within the Codex are not ideal if you are looking for truly optimal legendary powers to imprint onto items. An important thing to bear in mind about aspects is that not all the aspects in the game can be found in dungeons, but some aspects can only be found in dungeons. To find them all, you are going to have to hunt them down and either play with the item they come with or extract the aspect power from the item to imprint onto another item. Also, be aware that players cannot stack the legendary powers. You can only have one of the specific power in your build. A benefit of the Codex of Power is that every one of the 115 powers you collect in the Codex are shared account-wide. This means that completing all the dungeons with one character, even to get aspect powers you may not want or need, could benefit all your characters or new characters you create. Blizzard stated during their developer livestream that the Codex does not have the ability to collect all the legendary powers in the game. There's many, many more for you to find. The Codex of Power and the Legendary Aspect system will not play a part in the economy, as legendary items are account-bound, as are aspect powers stored in your Codex. Who is the Occultist? The new Occultist vendor is key to adding or removing aspects from your gear. The benefits of this is that you can imprint a legendary power onto gear that may be better suited to that particular power. When the Occultist extracts a power from a legendary item, the item is destroyed and the resulting extracted aspect power can be used once to augment either a rare item, turning it into a legendary, or to an existing legendary item which will have its own legendary power replaced by the newly extracted legendary power. What aspects do you use? Aspects are divided into categories in the Codex of Power interface, which can be found under the Collections tab at the top of the menu interface. The categories are as follows. Offensive, Defensive, Resource, Utility and Mobility. While the majority of aspects are class-specific, some have been designed to benefit all classes. A full list of currently known aspects can be found in the Diablo 4 wiki. The benefit of the Codex of Power and the Legendary Aspects system is that it will allow players to keep a build they have created with powers they enjoy using by moving that legendary power onto new items as they are discovered. What we don't know Blizzard has not stated how many of these legendary powers there will finally be in the game. All we know is there are 115 powers in the Codex when the game launches, with even more out in the world to discover. Also, during the developer livestream, Blizzard showed an aspect in the Codex. There was one that showed its location as undiscovered. It's not clear why this is listed as undiscovered, or how a player can find its location. To sum up, the Codex of Power and the Legendary Aspects give players the opportunity to experiment with legendary powers and create builds that fit their playstyle. Additionally, it encourages players to hunt for legendary items with the best stats for a particular power. New characters will also benefit by having access to these powers early on. To be notified of our upcoming videos, please consider subscribing to the Pure Damage YouTube channel.